so windy outside. It's crazy. I don't know why. It looks like there's a hurricane coming or something. Today's another beautiful day in my mind and in my heart. You know why? Because today's my freaking birthday. No, I'm just kidding. Tomorrow's my birthday. But I took the day off today to celebrate my birthday. And, and, and I bought myself something super radical, awesomely freaking cool. So you guys are going to check that out with me. Uh, since it was my birthday, I figured, I said, you know what? Let me get something for myself that I actually have been wanting for so long, but I'm just so cheap to buy it. <laughs> So we're gonna check it out together and see if it's actually worth it. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today is freaking Friday and I took the day off because it's my birthday tomorrow. So since my birthday only falls on a Friday or Saturday like every couple, every few years, I always take off my birthday when it's on a Friday and when it's on a Saturday because my birthday is Absolutely. awesome in my mind. It's freaking awesome. It's not awesome outside though. It's a little rainy out and there's a lot of wind and I'll see you guys when I get my coffee. A few moments later. And there's some sketchy looking people in there. We're back inside the playpen. Now today I'm gonna do exactly what I told you guys. We're gonna open up this fantastically awesome thing that I bought myself that I've been wanting for a very long time. And if it looks like I got beat up, it's because I bit myself shaving. Uh, it's a cold sore. It's the first one I got in like two years. I don't know why all of a sudden. Uh, so I usually, I make it look worse than it really is. I usually rip off the skin and put a little bit of peroxide and alcohol on to kill the bacteria because that's usually what it is. Uh, Unfortunately, yeah, that looks terrible. I look like I got beat up. Let's open it up. All right, so let's do this right now. I've been hanging on this for like three days. I can't begin to tell you guys. This is like the one thing that I've been wanting for so long. In case anybody Stupid. doesn't know what this is, this is actually one of those like Everdrives clones. I think they are. Uh, you put ROMs on it and you plug this into your N64 and uh, it lets you play like the whole library. Whatever game you put on there, it'll let you play. Wahoo! So uh, I've been wanting one of these since I knew they existed, but at the time, um, I'll put it on the screen for you guys to see. The Everdrives were like 150 bucks for the exact same thing. I mean, apparently from what I read, this is like a one for one copy of an older version of the Everdrive. It even took the firmware and somehow found a way to throw it on the chip. So uh, the, 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 even the interface is exactly the same. Uh, I'm not sure if there's an SD card. I read that some people received the SD card with the ROMs already on it. Originally came with a USB cable down here if you guys can see this little silver sticker that's actually a USB a micro USB port and this would give you the option to connect it to the computer and you could drop ROMs onto the SD card from that port now I don't necessarily think that there's much of an advantage to it uh, but I heard that you can update the firmware to a, uh, a special kind through there but I also read that you can update that firmware through the SD card also so that's the good thing about that uh, so I don't really care about the port anyways um, uh, so it looks like what they did is they removed the chip off the board. There was a chip that they would put on the board that would enable the USB port to work. So probably for costs, since nobody was really using it, they probably removed the chip. Because if you take it apart, from what I've seen online, if you take this apart, uh, you can see where the main chip was. I think it was something like uh, 16 legs or something like that. It was definitely a lot cheaper than uh, the EverDrive name brand. This actually came up to $85, which if you can understand, that's one of the reasons why I didn't buy it because it was too expensive and uh, a lot more than what I paid for other ones other uh, flash carts for my other consoles but I'm a huge huge like fan of these things I own a bunch of games for this console already and here she is I obviously got the black one there was a red version out there but I I purposely stayed away from the red version because I hate red and uh, the black version was obviously where you know what I always say if it ain't black it's whack so and over here you have an SD card which looks like it's in there and here's the uh, USB port that they put the tape on that that won't do anything if you plug it in anyways because the chip is missing what I'm gonna do since this is here we're gonna see if there's actually ROMs on it and if there is I'm gonna copy the entire file so this way in case something gets corrupted I have the original file with the bootloader already on it and we're gonna go try it out in the console and see how good it is all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up my brand new controller because I haven't used this yet because uh, I haven't had the time 
Look at this beautiful thing. Look at this little guy. It's so, I mean, why didn't they make this to begin with, you know? All right, so let's see what we got. Let's go, we gotta go to the top list. Let's try out one of my favorites. So that's how it works, okay. Let's see, we got, let's do, let's do my personal favorite game. Where are you, baby? Start? Oh yeah, that would make sense, right? Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta grab my controller packs. Look at this. Let me turn the light off. Looks really good. It works exactly the way it's supposed to. I mean, it works exactly the way I remember it. Such a badass game. I'm not even kidding. This game is like my favorite Doom ever. Out of all the Dooms I've ever played, this one that by far is my favorite. It seems like, you know, for the most part, I have what I really want for all my consoles. So basically, all I really need now is one of those flashcards for the Jaguar. And that one right now at this moment is just ridiculously overpriced. Uh, but I have no, I'm in no rush for it. So I'm going to wait until I find one that's cheap. Super duper rad ass control for the N64. I promise you guys, anybody who picks this up will not be disappointed. This is the most, most comfortable N64 controller I ever had. I had another one that was more like a traditional game pad. But let me tell you, man, this one is by far the best. I ran out of all these up. Yes. You could have used the air compressor. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see why me. My king, my king. I do want to say thank you for everybody for watching this video. Sorry about my face looking disgusting. I can't control that. Um, but for the most part, I'm happy and it's my birthday. I'm 43 years old today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you. And, uh, and don't forget to love life and be kind. I am a prodigy. I am a leader. They follow me.